What is up guys, Allie here for yet another Today in Retro video. So if you didn't notice recently, I've been doing a lot of research videos about event Pokemon distributions, specifically, obviously, the PCMY videos that I did with Tony from Hard for Games. So if you haven't seen those already, go check them out. So for today's video, we'll be talking about the 1998 Nintendo Power Mew distribution event. So without further ado, let's get into it. So if you didn't grow up with Nintendo Power, let me set the scene. So Nintendo Power was a magazine created by Nintendo in August 1988 and discontinued in December 2012. It contained everything from game reviews, tips and tricks, giveaways, and a ton of other Nintendo related content. As a kid that grew up in the 90s slash early 2000s, I always look forward to getting Nintendo Power in the mail. It's really hard to explain the importance of it if it wasn't something that you grew up with. Because of the internet, you know, information about gaming in general is really just super, super accessible nowadays. Personally, one of my favorite sections of the magazine was Player's Pulse, where readers got to send in letters to the staff and they answered questions, shared fan mail and fan art and all of that sort of stuff. So for today, we'll be specifically talking about Pokemon Power, which was a series of mini magazines that were included as inserts with Nintendo Power volumes 111 through 116, which spanned from about August 1998 through January 1999. These mini magazines contain information and strategies for Pokemon Red and Blue, as well as a manga adaptation of the Pokemon anime, which was translated from the Japanese Pocket Monsters film comic series. So in the fall of 1998, Pokemon Power held a contest to win a Mew. There would be 151 winners, which is a fitting number, and all you had to do was cut out the entry form and send it into Nintendo. You could either send in your own game cartridge, or if you didn't have one, Nintendo would give you one which I think is a pretty sweet deal. The entry form asks for general information like your name, address, age, gender, and telephone number. It also asks really interesting survey questions like, which are your favorite characters in the Pokemon game? Which are your favorite characters in the Pokemon television show? It's interesting to note that they split those two questions up because the anime kind of focused on or had more of a spotlight on specific Pokemon versus the games. You can kind of use whoever you want or whichever your favorite Pokemon are. Note that in the contest rules, it was required to answer the trivia question, what number is Mew? I wonder how many kids skipped that bit. Entries had to be received before February 1st, 1999 to be eligible. Nintendo of America was not responsible for lost cartridges in the mail, and entrants consented to be put on a mailing list. Classic. Fun fact, this was actually one of the most early known Mew distributions in the West. The contest winners were notified via mail by February 8th, 1999 that they had won a Mew. So the winners received this letter in the mail, notifying them that they won. Dear Mew winner, congratulations! You have been selected as a winner in Nintendo Power's Mew giveaway. Pokemon number 151 Mew, the rarest of them all, will soon be yours. So that we may introduce Mew to your Pokedex, you will need to send us your Pokemon game pack. Please follow these detailed instructions to ensure proper receipt of your game pack. There are a few things you must have ready before packing up your game pack. You must have a Pokedex with at least one Pokemon in it, and there must be an empty space in one of your current parties. In other words, there should be no more than five Pokemon in that party. Once you're absolutely sure that your game pack complies with each of these points, it's time to start packing. Place the enclosed Mew sticker on the back of your game pack. That's the side with no label on it. Place the game pack in the padded envelope we've included for your convenience. Approximately two weeks from the date we receive your game pack here at Nintendo Power, your Pokemon should return home to you. Mew will be waiting for you inside the Pokedex, and his ID number will be added to the Mew sticker on the back of the game pack. Also, please remember that this is a very limited offer. We will not be able to replace your Mew if you trade, erase, or in any way, lose it. Congratulations again, and thanks for entering our Mew giveaway contest. Keep watching Nintendo Power for more exciting contests. Sincerely, Nintendo Power. When I first saw pictures of this cartridge, I thought it was really interesting how homemade the label looked. Not that I was expecting something super fancy, but it just looks like they printed out a bunch of these Mew stickers and sort of slapped them onto the back of the cartridges. And considering that the winners themselves put the sticker on before sending it in, it makes sense. The cartridges were sent back to winners with the Mew sticker filled out with its RA number, return address number, so that they knew what cartridge to send out to which winners, and the Mew's ID in-game. Also, the OT of this Mew specifically was Mario, which seems pretty fitting. So that's pretty much it to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanna do more Pokemon history related videos like this. If you wanna learn more, I highly recommend checking out the thread about this Mew on Project Pokemon. I'd also really like to thank Gridlin and Michael for their help on this video. Gridlin for all of the information and fact checking me and then Michael for actually helping me out with sending me scans of Pokemon Power. So if you guys also wanna see these Pokemon Power scans, I will also include a link to that in the description. 
So if you guys have any other topic suggestions for today in retro videos, please let me know, especially Pokemon specific ones, because you guys know that is my jam. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Check out my Twitch. I stream every day around 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm also really active on Instagram. Post a lot of retro gaming pictures over there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you around. Bye!